Okay, so one last demonstration video for now of uh, this wonderful Magnavox. So it's kind of a part two of my original demonstration from the science detection uh, from about a week ago when I got this. I mentioned that this can handle non-standard record sizes. Um, so I had to devote a video to the nine inch records uh, these play at 16 RPM. Newer record players don't even have that speed on there. Older ones do, but no one had those records. That's an actual setting. It works. It's not just for show. Uh, it just never took off because of low fidelity. 16 was used for background music, audio books, a couple other things where fidelity didn't matter as much. There were a couple of exceptions where they used actual music. Um, the most commonly found 16s are the Seaberg Background Music Library. That's what these are. Um, and so I, I bought them because that's what I was able to get my hands on. I wanted to get a, C, a 16 RPM record and see one and play one and hear it for myself. It's got a 2-inch center hole because the changer that was designed for it had two styli and it would play underneath the the record and then it would play the top side so you wouldn't have to flip it i'll uh there's plenty of videos of those on youtube and i will um find a link to one and include it in the description uh, if you don't have one of those the next best thing is an older magnavox that will handle them correctly my pen crest with the voice of music changer mistakes them for seven inch records and the uh, spindle adapters, I bought these from, uh, these are designed specifically for the Seabergs. I bought them from someone on eBay who makes them with a 3D printer. Uh, for point of reference, the, the 45s have an inch and a half hole. This is a spider insert for 45s. As you can see, not big enough for one of these. Spindle adapter for the turntable itself, also not big enough. Um, and uh, there are individual tracks on here, I think about 18 per record. Um, I counted them out once with, uh, with the gentleman who I bought this from. Uh, and they're hard to see and they won't show in the video. And if you want to try and select a track, forget it. These are meant to be played all the way through. Um, they're also not supposed to exist anymore because uh, stores were eventually supposed to send these records back to Seaberg after a certain period of time, and they Seaberg would destroy them. Don't know why, but these managed to escape the evil clutches of their creator. As you can see, this one has a place and use date of 7164. although for some reason this one's got Let It Snow on it. Um, uh, and not all 16s look like this in terms of size or center hole. This is Seberg's uh, arbitrary format. Without further dudes, I'm just going to demonstrate uh, the size detection and the audio quality of these. So as you can see, it lands in the correct spot. Okay, next one. I use these, um, I use this room as an office and these are great for uh, when I'm working because I work from home a lot uh, thanks to COVID and working in silence, uh, not, not always fun. Some of these are actual songs in Muzak form. Some of them are just designed for stores, elevators, or full music. So, 
That's how slow this is spinning. Yes, yeah, 16 and 2 thirds RPM, which is exactly half the speed that your traditional albums spin at, 33 and a third. 40 minutes per side on these, which is double what you would see on the average 12 inch record. opinion the audio doesn't sound so bad on these but at the time they thought otherwise anyway that's my mama <laughs>